Welcome to Real Time with Austin Rhea. Today I'll be sharing with you how to make homemade root beer. But before we begin, let me share with you a little history behind root beer. In 1876, there was a guy by the name of Charles Hires, who was a Philadelphia pharmacist, who started mixing roots together, um, such as dog grass, uh, winter green, and uh, sassafras. Um, and that is uh, what we know today as root beer. So what we have here today is uh, some homegrown yeast, uh, purified water, got to get those pesky minerals out of there, uh, some conflict free granulated sugar, um, and just some root beer extract. So let's begin. Uh, we have six ounces of warm water that we add into the bowl, and a fourth teaspoon of the yeast, and we're adding it to the water and stirring it with a whisk until it's dissolved completely. Next we're going to add a cup of sugar, let's pour that in, and a tablespoon of root beer extract. Stirring is very important, so you have to allow the sugar to dissolve completely before going on to our next step. That looks good. So now we're done stirring. Uh, we have to let it sit for 20 to 25 minutes. So while we wait, let's go over to my chemistry corner. Hi guys, this is Chemistry Corner. Let me describe to you the chemistry behind root beer. Use it as a pacman. And glucose, which is yeast's primary food source. Glucose is absorbed by yeast, and the byproduct is ATP energy, which is adenosine triphosphate, which also is CO2, water, and alcohol. Okay. This process is known as fermentation. And there's our root beer, folks. So didn't you learn something with by that? Welcome back. So now we put the root beer back in a two liter bottle and fill it up with water. So first we add water about an inch short to the top. So now we've added the water. Let's add the root beer syrup. Don't worry about getting it in. It's not that too big of a deal. Just try to get as much as you can. Yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching this edition of Real Time with Austin Maria. Have a yeah, good day.